Hello, Sam from Tool Hut here today. Today's project is a 2002 Ford Mustang. The shop has put a used instrument cluster in it and the customer only has one key. I will tell you right now that uh, I always tell my customers when they call to schedule programming on a job like this that they need two keys. Somehow this message got missed on this particular job. So I know how to get through it. I'm not going to waste the trip. So we're just going to do it with the one key. It is preferred to have two. This method is not approved by Ford. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open our IDS. We're going to let it identify our vehicle. It is a 2002 does have traction assist. This is the ever powerful V6 Mustang with an automatic transmission with a convertible top. Not the car I would buy. But everybody to each their own. So it has identified our vehicle properly. So a couple of notes I want to make are right off the pack. This is a used cluster it's from a salvage yard. Um, the replacement cluster is in the vehicle already and I have not programmed it. I do not intend to program it. So we're gonna, a couple things you wanna note when you're going, uh, the biggest thing you have to do to this vehicle is a theft learn. So I want to know where is the control function located. This is where the actual PATS module is. On this particular vehicle it is in the cluster. So it being a used cluster it already has keys programmed to it. So the other thing is it requires a parameter reset after the PCM or the PATS. We want this to say yes. If it says no, then there's a many times that you have to erase the keys and start over. Uh, the parameter reset essentially is the handshake between the cluster and the PCM or the PATS module and the PCM. So if the uh, function was in the PCM, for example, that it, when we make the handshake it really wouldn't make any difference how many keys we've got to program it. We just do the parameter reset and be done with it. So first thing we have to do is gain security access. This is the 10 minute wait from Ford. I guess they figure if you're gonna steal a car you're not gonna wait 10 minutes to program a car. It's my understanding, my analogy. To me, it's a big waste of time, but, you know, everybody's got their way of doing things. A lot of the manufacturers use the 10-minute the wait. Some of them use security codes. Uh, this particular Ford is a 10-minute is a wait. And I have sped up the time frame for the 10 minute wait but I wanted you to see the whole process here so once we've got our 10 minute it'll tell us that we've gained security access operation's been successful security access is granted so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to program the key to the cluster so the key is in the ignition obviously and no I don't need to program another key because I don't have another key and I want to return to the PATS menu so this is where I'm going to do my parameter reset it tells me I'm going to need two keys um, we're not going to need two keys also says the cam has been reset so here it asks you what did you replace so it says the ignition key code is necessary 
this is the process I'm going to do here for the none, the ignition key code, not necessarily turn the key off, disconnect the scan tool, and cycle the key three times. This vehicle started right up after this was done. Thanks for watching my video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more programming videos. And hit the bell if you want to be notified when they're released. Again, Tool Hut has all of your programming, diagnostics, drivability type equipment necessary. So visit our website, toolhutusa.com. Have a great day.